Cambridge School was founded in 19 on what has been described as probably the most desirable site that could be found in England. From its earliest days, great emphasis was placed on the appreciation of the natural environment through art, the study of wildlife and earth sciences, and through the pursuit of a wide range of outdoor activities. It is an independent co-educational boarding school with 280 boys and girls. But in recent years, the numbers of day pupils has steadily increased, so that in the lower half of the school, they account for approximately half the total number of pupils. The boarders come from all parts of Britain, and quite a number are children of serving members of the armed forces. Others are from expatriate families, and there is a small proportion of foreign nationals. All of this gives Bembridge a very outward-looking, almost international flavour, which is of particular relevance to modern educational ideas, and very welcome in a small island school. Boys and girls from 7 to 13 years of age attend the junior school, which has its own premises and play areas, although pupils have the advantage of using many senior school facilities. A separate junior school staff, under the junior school head, deliver all aspects of the new national curriculum, and very much more besides. Every child is expected to, to develop his or her full potential in the classroom, and there is regular testing and three weekly assessment of effort and attainment. Parents are kept informed about their child's progress through parents' evenings, open days, and informal discussions with staff. There is an open house policy in the junior school, and parents are encouraged to become as involved as much as possible. There is also a pre-preparatory department, where four to six-year-olds receive a thorough grounding in the three R's, as well as enjoying all the other advantages of being on the Bembridge campus. How nice to have your own beach to play on at school. Senior school pupils are able to choose courses from a wide range of GCSE subjects, but all have to study maths, English, science and a modern language. Most continue their studies on into the sixth form, where very small teaching groups allow an almost individual preparation for A-level exams.
the great majority of leavers go on to university or polytechnic and the careers department is supported by the independent schools careers organization and is on hand to give advice whenever it is needed. In each year group a small number of pupils with dyslexia is admitted and they receive specialist help with their studies in the dyslexia department attached to the school. In-class support is provided whenever it is appropriate. This has proved to be a particularly successful venture at Bembridge and our pupils with specific learning difficulties have gone on to enjoy remarkable success at GCSE. All pupils, both day and boarding, belong to a boarding house and pastoral care is the responsibility of a housemaster or housemistress. There are assistant house staff and each boy or girl has a tutor for more personal supervision of work and social activities. House matrons play an essential role in the domestic arrangement of each boarding house, but all medical matters are dealt with in the school sanatorium. One of the great features of Bembridge life is the wide range of extracurricular activities on offer to all the pupils. At least two afternoons in the week will be devoted to sport and the facilities for this are quite outstanding. There are excellent pitches and playing fields as well as tennis, squash and netball courts. The cricket square is sometimes used for county games as well as normal school matches and island inter school competitions take place on the running track. There is even a nine-hole golf course over parts of the playing fields. The recently opened sports hall is a terrifically valuable new asset and allows a full sporting program to continue right through the worst of the winter. Both junior and senior schools have their own sailing clubs and the fleet of school dinghies are regularly in action down in Bembridge Harbour. Canoeing and windsurfing are also on offer. Bembridge School is the only school on the Isle of Wight which is licensed to run its own Duke of Edinburgh award scheme and a large proportion of the senior school pupils take part many completing their bronze and silver levels and a small number achieving the gold. The expedition section takes groups out onto Dartmoor, the Lake District and the Scottish Highlands, while the service section involves pupils with firefighting, life-saving and the police force.
Within the format of the Duke of Edinburgh award scheme, the great selection of hobby activities at Bembridge can be put to the most effect. And boys and girls spend two afternoons a week engaged in such interests as painting, model making, palatally, wood or metalwork, archery, printing, and many more. Drama is very popular, and there is nearly always a play in rehearsal for one particular level in the school. The music department is strong, with particular emphasis on choral work. The chapel choir practices regularly for school services, and also performs in local churches and cathedrals. The carol services at, Chris at Christmas represent one of the highlights of the school year. Bembridge is a non-denominational school and all pupils are expected to attend chapel each morning for assembly. Day pupils are welcome to join the boarders for the service on Sunday morning. When the founder, John Howard Whitehouse, set up Bembridge School, he also acquired Brantwood, John Ruskin's old home on the shores of Lake Coniston in Cumbria. Bembridge pupils still use this magnificent house as a base for their adventure training session in the Lake District and the world famous collection of Ruskin's drawings and manuscripts housed in the galleries at Bembridge School are visited by scholars from all over the world. The Ruskinian ideals of the appreciation of natural beauty and the importance of the creative arts in everyday life still find a prominent place in the modern curriculum of Bembridge School. Although there is equal weight placed now on such subjects as science and technology, the very special environment of this small and happy school is one of the most important factors in the creation of its broad and balanced education.